I am sure in real life it would just fall apart. Hey guys, in today's video we are at Edwards Air Force Base. And we are here for a reason. We will test here some interesting planes, not like this SR-71. Okay, $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? Which is a plane from real life. We will check out some planes from xplane.org. For example, this. It's basically a canoe, but it's not a normal canoe. By the way, we are in a desert with a canoe. We kind of need water lol. You can open here this box. And now we have Garmin 1000 panels on our canoe and also an engine running. Now we can fly this canoe lol. It says don't touch but we gonna. <laughs> it's kinda hard to land by the way. We are moving to our next plane. I mean pig? Okay it's a literal flying pig with cockpit inside. Let's start the engine I guess? Oh my god. Okay, full power into this pig. It flies very badly to be honest. It even has flaps. Let's just try to land it. Are we in a horror game? Now we are looking at a serious plane concept. This is a turboprop supersonic plane. Actually looks like an X-15 but with a prop. This text is inverted LMAO. This engine control law. Why it goes reverse on full power. Let's try to take off this thing. It accelerates really quickly. This plane is an absolute mess. What the hell is this bag that always happens to it on the exact speed? But actually we don't even need the engine because this thing is flying with help of magic. No comments about physics lol. The most cursed 737 ever. That's what I want to check out. In the cockpit we can't really see anything special. Just one bag that helps me see through the cockpit. But as soon as we go to outside view. And I can't say anything. What did developer do with this 737? Stretched 737 with huge wings that are making a lot of wing flex. Why is it red and black? Why is it so long? Why does it sound like a hairdryer? Why? Let's just try to take it off. It's really hard to steer it on the ground. It's also really underpowered. We are accelerating very slowly. We barely can even okay, on this thing. Very realistic and beautiful gear animation of course. Oh my gosh look at this wing flex. We are now like a real bird. Very stable approach. Now we are just Because this weird red thing is barely flying, no reaction to controls inputs, especially if we are talking about steering it on the ground. I hate it and I also can't call it a 737 it's just so cursed. Moving on with another 737. We can't hear engine sounds, because if we will add a bit of thrust. see that the 737 has rocket engines. Let's not use all the thrust so we won't just start to flip over multiple times. We are good I think we can add more thrust. Maybe it can be a good plane concept for we're Jin Galactic. We are easily climbing to space. Oh wow we are so high. Oh what a beautiful relaxing flight also watching this nice video. But what is more interesting is what if I'll pull reverse thrust. Next plane is, what do we have right here? Green weird plane, what the hell are these engines? They kinda look like rocket engines but they are performing like jets. This thing has very small wings and also why is it standing on those yellow sticks? We can retract them to stand on these thick rolls that we can't steer so this plane makes no sense at all. Okay let's just try to take it off. Oh my gosh it's so overpowered we took off in no time at all. I am sure in real life it would just fall apart. Even vertical stabilizer is going crazy. This thing is so powerful that it can probably be used as a seaplane because it can take off even from water. It also has reverse thrust so I'm absolutely sure we can stop faster than a helicopter helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter, shame on the
Well our next plane is. Well basically it's a stealth plane. I have no idea how does this plane looks like so I have no idea how realistic is it and I also have no idea why this engine always goes full reverse or full power. Talking about full power, this plane has an afterburner. Oh my god this engine is just way too powerful look we used only 300 feet lol. I don't understand why does this plane need such a powerful engine because after 2 seconds of afterburner it loses control because of speed. Forgot to remove these enemy F-18s again. Now it's probably a real plane concept I guess, but nobody needs in the cockpit we can already see that this is a Diamond DAW 42 but modified, but what the hell is this, can I even show it on YouTube? Oh no what the hell is going on in the cockpit a man without head and a hand and also with broken legs. Don't worry YouTube it's a fake man. It's now not a plane but a tilt rotor. It means that we can take off and land without using a long runway, or a runway at all just like any helicopter. But also this thing can switch to plane mode after take off and fly very fast. These engines are obviously must be more powerful than normal DA 42s ones because they have to lift our plane even vertically. But what we can see here is normal DA 42 engines so that's just unrealistic lol. Near to this airport there is a heliport so let's try to land it here. It's pretty hard to handle this thing. Wow it can do some cool stuff I have no idea what it's doing right now help. Alright that didn't go well at all. Subscribe and hit the like button if you want to see some more funny planes for X-Plane 11 for example this 737, and see ya in my next video.